My name is Marilyn Erskine, uh, also Curland. And um, who I am, I really haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> What's your, what has been your profession for much of your life? The theater. The theater, yes. I, I, I went to work in uh, 1929. I was three years old. And um, I used to sing, dance, and do imitations. And there was one French actress, I've forgotten her name, but she used to come out and she'd say, come see, come ça, come ooh la 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 la. That was my opening. <laughs> really should have been my closing, too. But um, so I worked in vaudeville for a while. And uh, we lived in um, upstate New York in Buffalo. And somebody said to my mother, she has talent. Take her to New York. And she did. And um, I worked at a, um, a movie studio that used to do short subjects. So that's how I started. And then uh, one day when I was like seven or eight years old, I was doing a lot of radio at that time at NBC. And I heard that there was a play that was going to be produced on Broadway called Excursion, starring Shirley Booth who was one of my favorites. And um, I heard they were looking for somebody to play her daughter. So I walked myself across the street after I finished the radio show, went up to the producer's office, and said, my name is Marilyn Erskine, and I would like to audition. And so they said, is anybody here with you? I said, no, no, my mother's across the street. <laughs> and. Um, so they gave me the, uh, the script and put me in a room and said, read this scene and then come back and when you're ready, we'll, we'll listen to you. So I did and I came out and I read it and they said, you start rehearsals on Monday. So that was very exciting. Our Town was one of the great classic plays that was ever written. Uh, I auditioned, there was a Brilliant producer-director at that time in New York by the name of Jed Harris. And he was going to direct the play and produce it. And so, again, I heard that they were <laughs> auditioning. So I um, had my agents, I was with MCA then, uh, make an appointment. And I, um, I came in to read, and, and I, um, I got the part. Well, originally I played the little girl, Rebecca. And then um, many, many, many years later, there was a production in New York, Raymond Massey playing the stage manager, and I played Emily. And um, we toured with it. There was a producer by the name of uh, James Terry who uh, called me one day and said, I'm going to um, have a production of Our Town. I'd like you to play Emily. And he said, I know you were in the original uh, cast. I think it would be very helpful for us. And so I said, oh, I would love it. Our town says everything. It's really life and what people really are. I remember when I was uh, uh, going to shoot my first movie at MGM, and they wanted to do a makeup test on me, you know, to see my good sides, my bad sides, and whatever. And I remember some of the grips were, you know, they were working, and then they were about to shoot, you know, just a silent thing of me, and this side and that side. And I heard one of the grips say to the other, hmm, she's not very pretty. And I thought, Mm. <laughs> I know. And then I thought, but I, 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 I'm a very positive person. Then I thought to myself, no, you're not going to get Lana Turner's roles, but you're going to get good character parts, like Agnes Moorhead, who was a good friend of mine, like Aggie plays. And, and that, to me, was more interesting. So it, I, I never took it personally that I wasn't going to be Lana Turner. Well, I used to say if I went for an audition, I was very lucky with auditions. I seemed to, you know, get a lot of them. But when I didn't, I, I wasn't 
upset or offended, I would say, I'm not the person they're looking for. I didn't say I didn't have a good audition or, you know, I wasn't what they were looking for. Therefore, it didn't make me sad.